I'm here on the job site right now. This is the, the view from my office today. And I just spotted something way over there, and I don't know what it is, but I need to find out before I leave here. I tried to pinch the screen out and zoom in, but I can't because I'm wearing gloves. Uh, anyway, we need to investigate that, don't you think? I do believe my pants are on fire. Looks like my chair's on fire. I believe my table's on fire. Oops! <laughs> Hey, welcome to Rat Rod. My name is Waylon Wire, and don't ever do what we do here on this channel. Well, this is something I spotted earlier. Oh, looks like two somethings. You know, sometimes I trade grafting jobs for various things. Probably shouldn't, but I have. So I'm kind of thinking about uh, what about the old the old blue diamond. I wonder if the old blue diamond will fire up. Wow, what do we have here? We have no fenders. Is that an international? There's an old Chevy cab. Not much of it. I'm going to have to uh, go down there and investigate a little closer. There's a gate right here. Oh, no fenders, no hood. Oh, the front thing's gone. That's too bad. Still, I still don't know. Oh, there's the, there's the stuff. Boy, it's, it looks like an international, but there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just looking at the back fenders. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Well, there's there's the engine <laughs> laying in the seat. Uh, well, here's a little bit left of an old, I don't know, 57, 58, I guess, Chevy. Uh, here's. A rarity look at that battery box with zero rust actually there's no yeah there's some rust on the bottom there's some uh, still some good running boards though okay can't even see when it was la oh, last licensed in 1963 and the engine is laying here in the seat <laughs> the rest of it Okay, something I probably don't need. The whole front end's here in the back. The hood and the fenders and inner fenders. Don't, don't do it, Ken. Don't do it. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey there, boys and girls. For those of you who have been around this channel for a while, well, you know it's my busy season. And for those of you who are a little bit newer and you don't know what that means, well, I'll give you a brief description. And then we'll get on to uh, the little car that popped up today. Kind of a fun little thing that I wanted to share with you all. But this time of year is uh, my busy season. And what that means is it's grafting season. I own a grafting company here in the state of Washington. Well, what that means is when the growers have a variety that is no longer profitable, it might be apples, pears, cherries, whatever, uh, but if they're just not making money on it anymore and there's a newer, more popular variety out there that uh, is, is able to make a profit, well, they call me and we come in and we cut the orchards down to a stump and we change it over to a new variety by grafting. Now, we can change, for instance, a golden delicious tree over to a, a Fuji or a Gala or what we've been doing a, a lot of in more recent years are Honeycrisp. So, uh, that's the deal. And this is my busy time of year. Now, I'll be back to rat rod here in about a month, so just bear with me. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of links down in the description for any of you who might be further interested in this grafting thing. Uh, one link is to an article that was in a national publication about my work about, uh, well, in 2008, I think. And that explains a little bit more about what I do. And the other link will take you to my grafting channel. I have a YouTube channel that is... Uh, entirely uh, about grafting and <laughs> wouldn't you know it's called all about grafting so if you're really interested in seeing the actual work you could go over there and take a look but uh, let's get on with this video because uh, I bumped into a, a young man today who went to school with my son and uh, his father uh, has kind of a new unique little car and I think you'll like seeing it uh, he took me for a ride and ha oh, ha Boy, it is fun. All right, let's get on with this video. So, what year, Jake? 73. 73. Yep. Wow. The same year as my truck, Trev. My yeah. Red square body, 73. Yeah. Which I've had, when did he get this? 82. Yeah, I bought my truck in 86. Yeah. So, they're like part of the family, mm -hmm. but... He has, uh, he's put some bucks into this thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's clean, man. Very clean. Sanitary. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the engine out of? So it's, it's I mean, based on the original engine, the old mm -hmm. L-series engines, which are usually either 1.6, 1.8, or 2 liters. Right. Um, but this one started as a 1.8, but it's almost 2.5 liters now. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Obviously, big big carbs. So it's like going from a three three fifty cubic inch to four hundred eighty six cubic inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Um, but yeah, the guy um, Troy Armish out of Tracy, California, he builds them and he, and he races them. In uh -huh. the classic racing series. Uh -huh. And the, the engine is about ninety five to ninety eight percent the same engine as what's in his race car. Wow. The header is real nice too. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. You can get down underneath the uh, heat shield. Oh, on this side. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. A little sleeper mode yeah, there, yeah, huh? Yeah, 1600, yeah. yeah. Like 1600 no. But, um, but yeah, Troy actually builds the uh, uh, the headers himself. So, oh. Well, uh, oh, I bet. Yeah. Beautiful. That is nice work. What I can see of it. Yeah. Wow. It's in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and. I'm surprised at how much room there is, actually. Pretty big engine compartment in uh, there. for what was in there before. Um, there, I mean, there wasn't much in there when, they were when the engine was original, too. But, yeah, there's a lot of space. So, uh, somebody local picking it up, uh, you actually, think? Actually, the guy that's uh, going to buy it is from North Carolina. Uh-huh. Classic Nissan collector. Oh, okay. Um, he's got a couple of Z cars, and um, he needs a, needs a 510. So... Mm -hmm. Well, what's the uh, this valve here in the, between the seats? Uh, that's the parking brake. Oh, okay. Yep. It's line just lock. a line lock. Line lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push and pull. Any yeah. chance we could hear it? 
Uh, that's a good chance. <laughs> you don't mind? <laughs> you see the, the fuel cell stuff down here too. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Eight gallons. Eight gallons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet that thing scoops. I bet it scoops. That thing with a quarter balance with stat in it. It's just like five pounds off the band with the 50. Real good feeling. I bet it scoops. It can move along pretty good. Life's smarter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hugs. Hugs the road. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like five or six pounds off from being perfect in the front back. So, so it's race car stuff. So, yeah, yeah, his his weight is taken yeah. into consideration right. when it's set up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So if you wear the heavier socks, yeah. <laughs> or if my dad loses a couple pounds, yeah. it might be just perfect. Yeah. 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 I wonder what zero to sixty is or something like this. Yeah, I mean if you get the fifth right. Yeah. It's not really what it's about either. No, no, yeah, no, it's yeah. not, but uh, but I bet it goes. Yeah, it's about 185 horsepower, but it only weighs about 20 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, like standing outside of it, it looks like it's, it's shaking. Okay. Yeah. Like sitting in it, it's yeah. rattling your feelings out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like no, it's ready to go. Actually, That's ah, really fun, man. Well, thank you. Just a little Datsun, just a little, little 510. That's all. That, that absolutely screams. <laughs> fun, fun.
actually has his feelers out. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For you got a network, network for this kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And uh, so the guy's a collector, and uh, Tro he had kind of reached out to Troy and was asking him about building him one. Yeah. He said, well, I might have one that's ready to go because my dad had mentioned that uh, he was thinking about selling him. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. I'm about to bump into you. <laughs>